I guess it all kind of started when we were on that shoot, kind of discussing things, being stuck in that massive, amazing house. I kind of had an inkling then, and I just, I'd always loved to do a bag. You know, Alexa did that amazing bag, which was one of my favorites. And I, I was like, yeah, that'd be awesome. I'd love to do that, but I never thought I would. Being a muse from Mulberry, I mean, that it just, it's just very funny to me, just saying it now. The fact that I inspire the brand, it's a two-way street, you know? The amount I get back is exactly the same. It didn't really feel like it was like, you know, a first meeting kind of thing now when I think about it, because everything flowed so quickly and easily. It all just suddenly all sat down. We all have a common interest. We all here for one reason. To like a cottage on a weekend and all sitting down and by a fire and talking, but we weren't, we were in the offices, you know? It just, it didn't matter where we were, it was just all of our kind of brains were in sync. <laughs> and it all just worked. <laughs> Fashion I kind of grew into and that kind of became part of my life. At school, my friends had handbags and all this kind of stuff and I always just kind of used more like a sack and it had holes in it. It was never good, it was never practical. And then when I got my first Mulberry handbag, it worked. But I needed more practicalness because, you know, people now don't just do one thing. You have so many interests and hobbies and different things going on in your life. You have to, your bag has to match that has to match your lifestyle. So it was kind of trying to find how many things we could do to make that bag practical. My favorite moment of the creative process was seeing the first mock-up of the bag. I was so blown away. How quickly it happened and how something in my mind had just suddenly come to life so quickly, it was kind of insane. How well it was done. I like to be comfortable and I like to be practical, but I do love to be elegant and I do love to dress up. <laughs> but it's the not trying too hard or the not, you know, it's just effortless, you know, that's what I want. What's the point in putting your name to something if it's not you or if you haven't really put you in it, you know? Um, so I felt like I really needed to, if people are gonna buy something which has my name on it or something, that it's gotta, you know, I, I love my tattoos. It's something that's me, so. It's got, I had to kind of, it's like, you know, secret, it's like, a, you know, the kind of secret thing which you can kind of go, oh yeah, I know, she's got that, oh yeah, that heart on the line or, you know, something like that, made in England. Coming into this and knowing that it was Marlbury, I knew it wasn't going to be a half-hearted process, you know, it's, Marlbury are not that kind of company, I knew that this is going to be a partnership, I, you know, it was going to be proper and that I would get to be able to see this. The fact that it all comes from here and it's a British company and heritage, it's just amazing. It's so rare. I love the countryside. I do. I love London because I grew up in London, but I went to school in the country and there was nothing like it. You know, baking bread, rearing sheep, building fences, you know, running around the forest. Everyone needs a practical bag. I think that translates across the world. The fact that we've made this and it's going to travel around the world. I, uh, it's pretty insane.